Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Tyson. I'm here with my wife, Marta, the creator of How to Be a Better Restaurant Customer, How to Be a Better RC. Uh, dot com is where you'll find the blog. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a pretty interesting topic. And I just want to let the guys know this is one for the team here. Okay? <laughs> So for all you guys that think this is, you know, girly stuff or whatever, you might want to check out the blog with your girl, you know, because this is one for the guys, okay? <laughs> You're not going to get many, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> but okay, let's hear the name of this blog. And it pains me to do this post. It I'm sure really it does. does but I, it, it, I have to tell it like it is and call it like I see them That's out. why you're the veteran server. We appreciate you, Marta. What's the name of the blog? This one is called Ladies, Why Are We Nitpicky Campers? Did you catch that? Tell them again. Ladies, why? Why are we nitpicky campers? Okay. Well, why are you nitpicky campers? Well, I, I mean, I don't know why. I, I mean, I do. Women, ha- I just have to say this, and I hate saying this. Women are the worst customer demographic. They really are. Mm. And at least. 75%, and this is probably a little conservative, at least 75% of all difficult customers, probably in any customer service arena, but we're talking about specifically restaurants for you know our purposes, mm-hmm. at least 75% of all difficult customers are women, mm-hmm. period. Women just are just difficult, and it's almost like they enjoy being difficult. Mm-hmm. It's almost like as part of being a woman, I have to be difficult and nitpicky, and I have to have an attitude, and I just... Okay, here's an example. You're always asking me for examples? Yes. Here's an example. I had a woman, I had a table, a, a, a group of people, um, four or five people, men and women, mm-hmm. and I come to the table to take their order and get to this particular woman, and she says to the table and me, I can't order anything off of a menu. I have to have, everywhere I go, I have to have the restaurant create a dish for me. I'm unique and special, and I can't be expected to eat things that other people eat. So I never order off the menu. I always uh, make them create something for me. And then she proceeded to give me the single most difficult order I've ever had in my entire life. Hmm. And mind you, I have to preface this. I've already, you know, on countless times before, I, I don't, you know, say where I work. You know, I'll never reveal that, at least not as long as I still work there. But I do let people know that I work at a casual dining chain. Mm-hmm. I don't work at, you know, Foo Foo's in, you know, on Fifth Avenue in New York or, you know, whatever. Right. I don't work at a five-star they place. They got a Foo Foo's on I mean, you know, or Fifth Foo Avenue Foo in New York. or Fussy Wussy or whatever the place that rich people eat. Okay. I work at a casual dining chain. Mm-hmm. So for someone to walk in with that kind of attitude, it's mm. ridiculous, okay. to say the least. Yeah. But I, Not someone, know, but... A woman. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. So another problem with women is that for some reason they they always have to have separate checks. Always. Mm -hmm. Separate checks. We have to have separate checks. A group of seven women will walk in. They each get a Diet Coke and a cup of soup. That's it. Mm -hmm. When the bill comes, we have to have have separate checks. We have to have separate checks because I have a 20 and she has a credit card and she has this and she has that and we cannot possibly combine our funds because we have to have separate checks. We all have 20s and credit cards, and they have to have separate checks. They can't possibly just toss in the five bucks that their beverage and soup cost. Mm-hmm. They have to have separate checks. Wow. And it's utterly ridiculous. It is. For my trouble, now not only that, not only that, because we have to bring the camping aspect in. Okay. Women camp. I mean, they camp hardcore. And camp. what is the camper? Yes, explain, explain the camping. You hang out long after your meal's done. You hang out long after it was necessary. What you are they generally doing? Just talking. Talking. Oh, okay. They right. are, are are rehashing every little minutia of their life. Mm. And mind you, these half the time are women that just saw each other yesterday wow. or last week. Yeah. And they're like, and then it was Wednesday, and I woke up at 8 o'clock, and I was feeling a little yucky. Not real yucky, just a little yucky. Oh, mm. really? Yucky? Yes, yucky. And I... And they're nursing these Diet Cokes, and they're sending me for Diet Coke refills and free bread refills. They're running me ragged and camping, okay, for this cup of soup and this Diet Coke that they each got. Mm. 
Mm. And it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And, and for all my trouble, they're not going to tip me very well. I'm not going to even tip you. Get a dollar, a dollar fifty for anything. A dollar, a dollar fifty. That <laughs> is awful. horrible. Of course, when they're ready for the check, they're in a hurry, though. We want separate checks. We've each got 20s and credit cards for our $4.54 a piece, you know, tab, and we're in a hurry. We need it fast. We hung out for four hours. Come on, ladies. But now we're in a hurry. Mm. Now. All right, well, tell us about the guys. Flip it over. Make us look good. Come on. On the flip side, and ladies, I hate to do this, but i got to tell it like it is. Make us look good, baby. Men, first of all, rarely come in groups of more than four, period. And that's even relatively unusual. Guys yeah. don't just, I don't know, they don't mob out in large, massive groups to restaurants. Mm. So you might get a group of, like, four guys, Todd. Okay. And, first of all, they order food. They're not going to be like, I'd like a Diet Coke and a cup of soup. They order food. Mm. They're going to order appetizers. And they're going to get meals where they get steaks and potatoes and whatever else. They're also going to get, like, drinks. And they're going to, you know, and they're getting food. Mm -hmm. They're going to hang out for the duration of the time it takes to eat the meal. Right, right. And this is even if, th this might be a group of guys that haven't seen each other since college, and they're 45 years old. Mm. And they've got together to catch up on the last 25 years of their lives. Mm. They're going to do all that in the space of time it takes to eat the meal yeah. and drink the drink. Yeah, yeah. Now, mm -hmm. when the bill comes, the biggest drama that you get is the whole, I've got it. You know, for 45 seconds, you might have to deal with these four guys going, I got it. No, I got it. Look, I got it. Mm. Don't worry about it. I got it. Let's mm. forget about it. Mm. I got it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it takes about 45 seconds for them to allow somebody to have to get it. Are these guys mostly Italian? They're, <laughs> they're not. They're not? <laughs> forget <laughs> about it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> might say that. They might say that. Okay. But, I mean, you know, but in the end, what's going to happen is one or two things. Either they're all just going to throw cash into a big pot, you know, or one guy is literally going to get it. Mm -hmm. And they're either going to pay him back, give all give him cash right then and there, or they're going to pay him back later. It's the craziest thing to me that women cannot owe each other five bucks. They can't. <laughs> we can't. Possibly there's seven of us, but the entire bill for seven of us costs $35. We can't possible just possibly just let Liz pay for it on her credit card, and we'll all owe her five bucks. Mm. We can't owe Liz five bucks. Wow. But one guy will put a two hundred dollar bill on his credit card, and they all owe him forty bucks or whatever the case may be. Mm. Well, you know, you like look. You We're know awesome. what? Y'all owe me forty bucks. Period. All right, we owe you 40 bucks. The guy is not worried that he won't get the 40 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys intend on giving him the 40 yeah, bucks. Yeah, yeah. But like yeah. I said, Liz is concerned that she'll never see this five bucks again, apparently. Shame on you, Liz. And then when it all comes down to it, they tip great. Guys are great tippers overall, or at least they're better tippers overall than women. Uh, so what do you think we should do about this? I, I, I hate to say this, ladies, again, this entire... I wrote a post about this, and it pained me, and this video is paining me because I'm a woman myself. Mm. But I can almost see the tears in your eyes. We have to take a page from the men, and I'll tell you something. There's women out there right now that are like, I'm not as high maintenance as she's saying. Mm -hmm. I don't make them create my own meal. Mm -hmm. I don't always insist on separate checks. I'm not like that. But I will guarantee you that every woman out there that's watching this alters at least one thing every time she goes out to eat when she makes an order. You mm. always say at least none of that, extra this, light this. You've never once placed an order at a restaurant where you didn't alter at least one thing. Mm. And if you are that rare woman that never alters something or at least, you know, doesn't have to every single time you order, it's because you used to be a server or you are a server now. Ha. Ah. All right, well, ladies, time to take a page from the men. We're awesome. We're just, <laughs> we're, we're just awesome. This, this speaks to life overall, and I can put it together for you, okay? <laughs> but we're going to have to make that another post. So until next time, anything you want to say to your fans before we head out? I want to say that I love you guys, and you're awesome, and God bless you. All right, Till next time, God bless.